Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up a webhook inside Team Deck. So Team Deck is a resource management and time tracking platform which is designed to help companies effectively manage their teams, schedules and that is designed to help companies effectively manage their teams, schedules and projects. It offers a suite of tools that allow businesses to allocate their resources, track employee availability, monitor project timelines, meetings, etc. So it offers some amazing features such as it helps to resource scheduling, time tracking of the projects and the task, leave management of the employees if, if it is being used by an organization for HR purpose. Then here we have reporting of the meetings and some other tools as well. So if you are using team deck for managing your task and projects for your organization then this video is for you because today i'm going to show you that how you can simply set up a connection between team deck and pabli connect to automate your repetitive task all right so here what you're going to do you're going to set up the connection with the help of webhook what is webhook webhook acts as a bridge for setting up connections between multiple applications and to transfer the data from one application towards another on the happening of a specific event you so when you're going to insert the webhook inside team deck the connection will be built successfully and then on the happening of a specific event you will be able to transfer the data from team deck towards any other application according to your choice all right so let's get started quickly you or before moving forward you can see on my screen there are two windows trigger and action so what are trigger and actions trigger and actions are the two main concepts the principles or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation runs the trigger here says when this happens and the action says do this that means the action is the response towards our trigger so whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many action steps as we want now let's suppose here i am using team deck for managing the appointments of my dental clinic let's say so i want that whenever a new appointment will be booked by the customer on team deck then automatically the response and the details of the booking should be captured inside public connect so that further i will be able to inform my team about that same booking that too automatically let's suppose for that i'm going to take team deck and trigger and for informing the team members as a message i'm going to use google chat space let's say when we are going to build the connection between these applications we will clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger trigger happens that means when the booking is made in team deck then only the message will be sent on google chat space otherwise not so after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action let us quickly start setting up the connection between team deck and pabli connect step by step to start with the connection you have to first of all go towards your trigger step and you have to select your trigger application as team deck so let's select that quickly as we have done that now here we have to select the trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start we have configured webhooks as our trigger event that means whenever these events are going to be performed such as whenever a new booking will be created a booking will be updated booking will be deleted etc then for all these reasons the response is going to be captured and that too instantly so let's select configure webhooks and as we have done that as we have selected the trigger event we have received a webhook url as you can see which we are going to insert inside team deck account in order to set up the connection between team deck and pabli connect because then this webhook url is going to act as a bridge for transferring the data of every new event happen inside team deck towards pabli connect how we are supposed to insert this webhook url for that we just have to copy it and we have to follow the instructions given over here we have to log into our team deck account we have to go towards settings integrations and then we have to insert this webhook url so do not worry i am going to tell you exactly all the steps what you have to do so now I'm going to take you towards my team deck account. Over here, we are currently on the dashboard of our team deck account. Now what we are supposed to do, we have to go towards the settings section given over here on top. After coming on settings, here we can see the option of integrations. So now here after coming on integration section, we have three other options, manage integrations, API keys and the webhook option. Because we need to insert the webhook URL inside team deck to build the connection. So webhook will be our option which we have to select. And over here, first of all, you need to provide a name to your webhook. So let's say I'm going to give a name as new bookings then in the payload url field you have to paste the url which is copied from pabli connect and then you have to click on this plus sign as you will do that your webhook will be saved successfully with the name as new bookings i have created my webhook and now i'm going to go back towards pabli connect over here it is showing waiting for webhook response this means that now we have to do a test submission 
and how we are going to do that by simply performing the same event which we want that on the happening of which the response should be captured let's suppose my objective is that whenever the booking will be created a new booking will be added in team deck for my dental clinic then i want to capture the response okay so i'm going to create a new booking over here in front of you we will go towards the project section over here and we have the booking section over here so in this booking section i'm going to add a new booking like say for friday 18th of october I'm going to click on this plus sign here. I'm going to create the booking so you can add the person for whom you're setting up this booking. I have currently two person over here. So I have selected one of them. Then we have the project for which the connection is built. We have all other details, the start date, the end date. Okay. Then we have the automatically skip things that is weekend vacation and the bank holidays. And here I'm going to provide a new tag. Let's say as billable and over here, I'm going to provide the description, a sample description. Routine checkup and cleaning. Okay, so I'm going to click on save. And as we have done that, the booking is created over here. Okay, you can see when I'm going to go towards this particular date, 18th October, here we have the booking which we have created routine checkup and cleaning all right so i'm going to take you back towards public connect here the response is already captured and in this response here we have received all the details first of all we have received that the type of event which is being performed so the type of event is booking created we have a unique id for this event which is performed the date on which the event is created okay we have the start date of the particular event okay we have the resource id project id when we'll scroll down over here, we have the description of the particular event that is routine checkup and cleaning. And this is the exact description which we have added. This means that the connection between Team Deck and Public Connect is absolutely successful. So now further, you will be able to transfer the response automatically to other application as well by adding these applications and action step. But before that, you have to keep in mind that because the workflow is going to run for each and every event which is being performed, such as when the booking will be created, when the booking will be updated, when any booking will be deleted or any other event given over here in the instructions. So in order to move the workflow for every specific event which you want you have to apply the filter let's suppose i want that only when the booking will be created when the response will be captured for booking created then the workflow should continue otherwise it should stop over here so for that i will have to apply the filter over here how we are going to do that you have to select filter in your action step and you have to apply the condition that whenever you are going to receive the response as booking created then the workflow should continue otherwise not so I hope the steps which you have to follow for setting up connection between Team Deck and Public Connect with the help of Webhook are clear to you. Thank you for watching the video. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications with the help of Public Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the rate If you want to ask any doubt, you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask about the pricing, you can visit this website given over here. Do not forget to share our videos, like our video and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automation missions.